Alright, y'all know Netflix be uploading more than Let Me Explain, but unlike this 1000% pure cartoonish entertainment we give you, I mean, I guess they're, they're also cartoony too. I had done a double feature with this one and another movie called The Domestics, which I thought was pretty good. Definitely check out that trailer and let me know if you want me to do an LME on it. But this one was getting a lot of flack from people because they were complaining about that ending. You know, even the main actress talked about how she gave out a little Kanye ad lib when she saw it. So I hopped on Netflix to give it a watch and, um, I mean, I kind of get it. Let me explain. So this movie has Theo James, who you may remember as four from the Divergent series series that couldn't even make their fourth installment because they got so bad and he's in Chicago visiting his soon-to-be in-laws who don't really like him since he moved their daughter all the way to Seattle and for any dude who's ever been scared to meet their girl's father ain't no way he's as bad as Forrest here. Forrest by default already has that twitch there. Theo ain't even got the time to let him know that he knocked up their daughter because he got kicked out faster than Logan Paul in London and before he can even leave Chicago fast in 6 9 a damn earthquake happens on the East Coast that's so bad it's felt everywhere. Now I'll be honest, right? I know the movie gets tedious at times, but I didn't mind the fact that it turns into a road trip movie. Theo and Forrest got a bond together as they drive over to Seattle to go save Jackie from the parent trap, and they meet the weirdest people, and that, that's probably the problem of the movie. Like, the end of the world just happened, it just started, and people are already acting like it's season 5 of The Walking Dead. They pick up this random girl named Ricky who's like, obnoxiously cautious. No disrespect, but I'm about doing no road trip right now with two shady dudes that appear out of nowhere. But then also randomly jumps into filthy pools. Holy fuck, it's haunted! You're killing us, don't take the gas! Girl, they tried to kill you. Now, if you've seen any of uh, Forrest movies recently, my man's having trouble making it halfway through. And this one in particular sucks because by the time he goes, like, they were already bonding together by snitching on this man's wife. She was drunk. I mean, drunk. Theo eventually finds his wife who's been chilling with another man. But here's where the theories come into play, right? Because every time you see a movie dealing with the apocalypse, you want to know what started it. So there's one. There was actually like a San Andreas fault thing that happened. and That's why there's this disaster and The Rock wasn't around to save everyone. Or two, as according to this random guy right here, Everything is a simulation of sorts, like it was orchestrated on purpose to cause chaos and have people believe it was an accident, when it really wasn't. Kind of like the movie The Domestics. Before you could even ponder on that any longer, right, and try to try to wonder what's going on, this dude tells Theo to go out in the middle of the woods so he can show him something, and it's like, okay, if y'all gonna tell little kids to never approach a white van, then you adults should know better than to go out into the forest without Forrest watching your back. Obviously this weirdo wants to shoot Theo, but Theo Han Solo's the dude first, rushes back to his wife, packs their bags as they rush away from the smoke monster of a being approaching them when it, it, it just, it just ends. How? Now look, if you've ever taken a film class, they break down story for you, right? And that every story needs to have a beginning and a middle and an end. And technically this dude's story does rap since all he wanted to do was find his wife and he does find her. But also technically you named your movie how it ends so you kind of got to show us that. So I get why people are upset when it comes to that, right? Because they want answers, especially when you're dealing with an apocalypse, people want to know why it happened. They can guess, you know, like life, even if you may not know everything, you may still enjoy the journey getting there. But when you don't explain everything and you also don't like the journey, then of course they'll be upset when all of a sudden it just ends. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll make sure the next video has an ending.